Ahoy there makers, let's take a look at the Kibo 2040. Okay, so the Kibo 2040 is a luxury mini keypad. It's a Lux all-in-one 16 mini keyboard mechanical keyboard with hot swappable clunky or linear switches and a per key customizable RGB LED. So the Kibo 2040 is a Raspberry Pi RP2040 powered keypad. And the keypad evolves into its final form with a 4x4 grid of keys, low latency input, it really is quick as well, high reliability and super slim footprint cursive, the brand new RP2040 chip from Raspberry Pi. The RP2040 microcontroller chip is incorporated neatly into the keyboard's base, into the PCB, and it's a tidy all-in-one unit. And we'll do a bit of a comparison between that and the Pico RGB keypad as well, just to compare that. So we decided to keep our favourite Kale speed switches, now available in clicky, linear or tactile varieties, and smart transparent DSA keycaps that look incredible when lit up, and fully customisable per key RGB lighting. So you can create your own stream deck with this, which is absolutely amazing. Sorry, streaming deck. So you could use your keyboard 2040 as a streaming deck for adjusting in-stream audio, settings and switches, and I use something very similar, um, which is quite a bit more expensive on my ad as well. You can also use it as a MIDI controller for triggering clips, tracks, effects in Ableton Live, or as a customizable key hot keypad for programs like Photoshop. It's also handy for pasting frequently used text and code snippets into your editor. So let's have a look at some of the features in a bit more detail. So it's powered by the RP2040 chip that's in the Raspberry Pi Pico. It has two megs of flash on board, which means it's plenty of space for our programs that are written in either C or MicroPython, or CircuitPython. It has a 16, it's a 4x4 matrix, low profile connected directly to the GPIO pins. And the Kale hot swappable switch sockets for Cherry MX compatible switches as well. Per key RGB LED driven by and let me get this right, an IS31FL3731 PWM LED matrix driver. It's a bit of a mouthful. It has a boot select button that can be used as a user switch. It has a reset button as well on the back. And it's powered and programmable via USB-C, which is really nice. That's the modern way of programming things, isn't it? And the dimensions, it's 76 by 76 by 30 millimeters. No soldering is required at all. It's really easy and fun to build. It's a really nice project, this one. Comes with Circuit Python pre-installed, batteries included as it were, and it has the PMK Circuit Python library as well, and there's a schematic on the website if you're interested in that too. So let's have a look what's actually in the box. So you get either the clicky, linear or tactile kits, and they have everything that you need to assemble your own mechanical uh, mini keyboard. And the high quality clicky gold linear switches, or the tactile copper kale switches, speed switches, or the clear DSA profile keycaps. And it's hot swappable kale switches sockets mean that it's the assembly is super simple and there's absolutely no soldering required they just push fit and it's a really strong snug connection uh, there's also a bare bones edition available without any keycaps for switches for folks who want to supply their own and really diy this the hot swappable sockets will work with cherry mx compatible switches and you'll need your own that have a recess underside uh, for the surface mounted leds uh, the USB cable isn't included in the, in the box, but we do sell them on the store if you want to get one of them that's just the right size for your installation. So let's look at getting started. So Hell has written a really great tutorial about how to put this together. That's the exact tutorial I followed to build the one that I've got on my desk that we'll have a look at in a second. And it's shipping the keyboard 2040 with Circuit Python and everything that you need pre-installed so it comes right out the box ready to get up and going. So software wise, Sandy did a really good job of this, Sandy McDonald's. Uh, our friend Sandy had written a Swish Circuit Python library, which makes it really easy uh, to customize your keyboard 2040. There's loads of examples on there. And we'll have a look at a couple of them in a second uh, that show you how to control the LEDs and the buttons and all the fancy ones to set it up as like a USB input device or even a MIDI controller, a MIDI sequencer. And you can watch Sandy's live stream. He did a really great live stream where he talks through how to configure it all the different bits of the library uh, and you know, straight from the horse's mouth he's the person who created this. Okay let's have a look at a, a demo. So I've got one on, on the desk over here. What I will do I will switch off my overhead lighting so that we can see this in a, a bit more detail and what I'll also do is I will bring up um, 
let me get this right. So I'll bring up Thonny, which has got some code ready to go. So I'm currently running the Rainbow uh, demo program. I'm just going to run the Reactive Press demo program. And if I press the keys now, we can see just how responsive this is. This is really quick. It's instant. If I go to the overhead shot, you can see this in a bit more detail. Very, very quick. Put the light back on, you can see there. It's very bright. Just wanted to show you just how nice those look there. Very, very quick. Okay, let's have a look at another program. So if I go back to over there and let's have a look at the... Um, um, that's the rainbow one that I think we've seen. Let's go to the decorator test. Does that one? So this one, if I just move the thonny up a little bit, we can see that as I'm pressing a key, so I'm pressing the very bottom key there. That's key zero. Key one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Starts at zero, so it's zero to 15. But you can see there just how quickly and how responsive that is. It's instantaneous. And that really nice rainbow code as well. Let's have a look at that demo. So we're just gonna run that one. And we can see there that it's just gonna phase in and out. Again, I'll turn off the uh, the overhead light so we can just see that in its all its glory. And it's just gonna sort of fade through various different color combinations, um, which looks amazing. So every single LED key is programmable. You can program it to react how you want. So whether you want the light to start pulse through as a matrix, whether you want it to be as it reacts to a button press. You know, if you press something, it stays on and goes off. Now I did say I would show you this. Um, so I've got here the, the RGB keypad from Pimroni. And this is a slightly earlier version when the Pico first came out. And you can see there, um, how much smaller this actually is. So it's a lot more compact form and you haven't got the, the Raspberry Pi Pico sort of off to the side there. Um, it's an all-in-one unit. I made this into a sort of mini stream deck. Um, so there's a live stream if you wanted to watch that. So if you're interested in following me on YouTube, I have my own YouTube channel and I cover things like robotics and also quite a few Pimeroni products as well. So I did a stream quite recently on how to create your own stream deck equivalent called the Pi Deck, um, and that used the Pimeroni RGB keypad, which is quite similar to the keyboard, but the keyboard is in a nicer form factor and it's quite and a bit smaller too. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.